Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer, this is A Country Life, and I can still say good morning because it's 11.30. It's been a big day. I'm not sure, well, listen to that. Warren is doing some sewing right now. Uh, I, yes, I'm pretty sure in my last video, I shared that we were painting the room that is going to be Maria's, so we're, what we're doing is swapping Joseph and Peter into Maria's old room, and Maria's gonna go into their room. And today is the day that the flooring is going in, so we got that LVT, right, luxury vinyl tile. We went with Life Proof, which is what we have in the bathroom. I absolutely love it in the bathroom. And uh, so we went with Life Proof again. He is actually installing that right now. I've been kind of running back and forth and helping because we found it works really good if someone's standing on the joints. Um, to provide some weight so that things don't shift. All right, but I'm in the kitchen right now because it is going to be time for lunch and I have my sourdough discard. My sourdough is growing for the day. It's looking just great and I want to make something with the discard. Now, I'm not gonna go into all of the major details here right now just because I this is the first time. I haven't even baked a loaf of sourdough bread yet, but I do have discard. Discard, well, maybe I will go into some details for you guys. Discard is what happens when you want to feed your sourdough again, but you don't want to have a ton of sourdough. So what you do is you take off some of it and you start with a smaller amount so that you can feed it the amount of unbleached flour and water that you want to feed it because if you just keep feeding it without like discarding any or using it what happens is it's just going to grow and grow and grow and grow and you're going to need like a gallon jar all right so this is the discard that i have and i actually watched this morning so this morning while i was like getting my sour, feeding my sourdough, and i'm brand new at it so i'm still measuring it down to the gram uh i was watching a farmhouse on Boone. So I just typed in sourdough discard recipes and a video came up. Yes, honey. Uh, so I like doing a review, but like word problem questions. Okay. And one of them, it's those things that you had me use this. Yeah. Okay. So I was watching. So when I typed in sourdough discard recipes, uh, this farmhouse on Boone video popped up. So I watched that. And she made all kinds of things. and But one of them that she did was a pizza crust. And I thought that would be a great thing for today. It's Friday, no meat. So I could do like a cheese, maybe some veggies. I'll have to see what I have. So I'm gonna get my oven preheated to, I'm gonna do 425 because I want my cast iron to get really, really hot. And while that preheats, I'm gonna take you guys back to the bedroom here. I'm coming in with a camera. Uh, I don't want a camera. Peter has assumed a position on the floor doing his schoolwork because he just wants to watch it all go down. And this is what's happening. So it looks like Joe is... He's the stander. He's the stander right now. Yes, sir. Perfect. So yeah, I mean, it took a while to get this figured out. So when it's, it's hard to start because yeah, it wants to move all over the place when you're trying to snap pile or tiles in or, or whatever they're called, whatever planks, call planks, planks. That's what they call them, planks. So yeah, getting started took definitely. I mean, like I told Peter when he came in, I said, you're going to hear some colorful language right now because things were difficult at first. I don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't you? Was it me? Was it me saying those words? I think that was mom. Peter knows the truth. Oh, yeah, grandma. So anyway, now, now that it's like we're over halfway, I would say, um, it just seems to be a lot easier now. Warren's kind of got the system down and that kind of thing. And Maria's back for math questions. They weren't hot. I know, they weren't hot, but I didn't want to burn my fingers. All right, so I just popped the cast iron pizza pans into the oven. 
I'm gonna let them just get hot. So probably let them be in there for maybe 15 minutes just till they're nice and hot. As they're heating, I am going to continue to shred cheese. I already shredded about six ounces of mozzarella that I had, probably about five ounces of Colby Jack. And now this is actually pretty soft. This pepper jack is pretty soft, but I'm gonna shred some of this pepper jack here. I sliced up an onion and I also had some green peppers in the freezer. So I just took out maybe eight strips and Maria sliced up a can of black olives. And that's gonna be our pizza. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to put some of the discard onto, I'm gonna to try to split this in half. Yeah, maybe my discard is too... What is that? This is the sourdough discard. Maybe I'm only gonna be able to make one. We might only be able to make one. That's the crust. This is the crust. We're gonna to have to make something else with lunch because this is not gonna make as much as I thought it was going to make, honey. Stop the bowl. Stop the bowl. We could have cranberries and caramel. We have a bowl of cranberries and caramel on top. Yep, yeah, we could have cranberries and you caramel. You want me to get it out? Sure. All right, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. It is really, I mean, it started to like bake on right away, which is perfect. And if I remember right, she put a little bit of olive oil over it and then a little bit of salt. Where is my kosher salt? Peter, can you reach it? It's in that blue, it's, it's right up there in that blue container. Oh, good. Okay, just a sprinkling. Mm -hmm. That looks great. We're gonna get this back into the oven and finish baking this. Then we'll bring it out and put the mm -hmm. toppings on. Okay, so I should have checked maybe on her blog and read a little bit more rather than just relying on what I remember from the video, but hers looked like it got a little bit more crisp hmm not really sure maybe 425 is not the right temperature but we're gonna go with it I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce on I don't think we need a whole lot that's okay if it... all right just a little sauce we're gonna be ready for stuff now Maria so you can Yep, you can put the cheese on if you want. Sense. Do you want to put some onions on first? Maybe. Can and I we, put it on half? Yeah, because we only have a small pizza here. So just bring over one small chunk of onions and just sprinkle a few over here. Good. A little bit more than that. <laughs> <laughs> it was good to I, me. I want to know I tasted an onion. Keep going. Right here. Okay, that looks good. Now put the peppers that are back there, put those right there too. Same thing, just throw the peppers right over here. Put the cheese on and fill it right up. Okay, we don't need to, yep, let's take big handfuls, plop it on, and then I like to just kind of move it around. I don't even think I needed the pepper jack. I think this is actually gonna be plenty. Make sure, yeah, dump all of that on. Yep, we are a cheese family. <laughs> exactly. I like our cheese. And don't put any black olives on this half, okay? Mm -hmm. Just put some black olives on that half. Mm -hmm. And as many as you guys want, because mm -hmm. I don't want any. But just don't put them on my half. <laughs> That's all you want? Is that good? Should I don't know. I, I just don't know how many people want black olives. Well, everybody but me likes black olives. Okay. Just there you go. All right, we're going to put this back in the oven and basically just bake it until... Everything is melty and the top looks like we want it to look. Listen to that sizzle. Mm, this looks so good. I do think that maybe I should have baked it at a little bit higher temperature so it would be more, um, like see how you can see it's a little bit floppy and not quite as, as crisp, I guess, as what I would like it to be. I, we're still gonna eat it, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Oh yeah. It, it looks very good. 
Um, I am going to have to check for you guys though, or uh, just go to Farmhouse on Boone and see if you can uh, research what temperature this really should be baked at. I just randomly threw it in at 425 because that's typically what like a frozen pizza goes in at, but my pizza crust recipe goes in at 500. So maybe I could have done it even hotter and it would have gotten the crust a little bit more crunchy right off right off the bat. You don't know what? It looked like you it's were doing a bear. a bear. I was gonna do a bear, but I don't wanna do a bear. Uh-huh. Since I cleaned out the two big closets in the schoolroom, the kids have been coming up and finding all kinds of fun things that have like unearthed from in there. So Maria has found this make a plate kit and it's pretty cool. Look, you can you can do up to 50 plates in here. So it comes with like everything you need. And then at some point we can send in, I think. Yes, so we yeah, have to so mail there it in is and then a form. Okay. You we would probably photocopy this so we have more. Okay. But there's an order form and there's like all these things. And all right. those are like if like, you want to do one to three, it's like nineteen ninety-five. I don't know what the two days are. I think that's one for days. shipping. We, we found one that Amber, Amber had made. made. Look at that in 2015. That was so long ago, nine years ago. That's amazing. We should do it. And then this one looks unfinished. That looks like something Sam might have started, huh? Yeah. Everybody wants to know all the time, and that's one of the things I forget to do after we like try a new meal is to stop and actually remember to like get our opinion. So first off, Maria didn't like it at all. No, I thought it was very good. I liked the sourdough, and uh, the crust was a little wimpy. It could have gone longer or at a hotter temperature. Hotter so temperature, I think. Up. But it was good. I liked it. Yeah, I liked it too. Um, Peter liked it. Joe liked it, except he never wants to eat like the outer edge of any kind of pizza crust. Warren is really, he is really, really figured this out. Did I say is? He has really, really figured this out now. Um, uh, now, well now you're gonna get to the hard part, aren't you? Because now we're back up, up by a wall again. But he's found little tricks that have really helped. So one of the things, yes, is this tool. And then even, where's that other one that you were using? And then even this. You just buy the kit at Home Depot right there. Flooring installation kit, it's worth it. That's, yep, he's it's worth it. That's incredible, I think. Incredible. Well, so I'm- well, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> The trim will go on quick and then it'll be open day. Yes. I do have to try to fix that ceiling. Yet. Oh yeah. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right, exactly. Today I finally took the stickers off the windows. Yeah. Guess that means we're keeping them. Guess that means, right, exactly. We're keeping the windows now, huh? <laughs> when did we have those windows done? Uh, June. Was it June? That's kind of what I thought. And I'm finally now getting the stickers off of it's the windows. Fine, it's it's fine. fine. And the only reason I decided to do that was because we had supposedly our the contractor was supposed to be coming out to take a look at the roof. And I was like, yeah. you know, if he did our windows and those stickers are still on, we should probably <laughs> I should probably think about getting the stickers off. So we're gonna be having a fish fry tonight and come on, light, there we go. <laughs> and I wanna try I want to just make a little dessert and I thought that this three hole cake sometimes it's called a wacky cake I've seen it different ways I've also seen this with where you use boiling water this one does not call for boiling water <clears throat> you may mix these ingredients in a bowl or mix them right in the pan so <clears throat> I'm going to guess that I should spray the pan it doesn't say that One, two, three, one, two. We're gonna do a third cup of baking cocoa. That was a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking soda. And I'm going to just mix this up. I've seen a recipe like this before where they called it three whole cake. And I'm pretty sure how it worked was, if I remember right, 
is that once you had all the dry ingredients like this, you actually made three wells and you poured the vinegar, the water, and the oil. Like each one of those three items, or each of those three ingredients were poured into its own little hole, or own little well. This recipe does not say to do that. I'm just really trying to make sure that the salt and the baking soda are mixed around because those are the things I'm most concerned about. So it's two tablespoons of vinegar, a third cup of oil, and two cups of water. And it does say to stir this. I'm seeing the bubbles form, so that means my vinegar and baking soda is working. Well, if this turns out well, this is the easiest way to make a cake ever. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty, Maria. I love it. There's one on out, so I just kind of like outlined it in purple. Uh -huh. But like not touching, so it wasn't Yeah, good. I know. It's so cool. Wacky cake? Wacky cake. It smells good. It does smell very good. It's like hot cocoa. There's a lot of background noise today with the with the saw out the kitchen window and then Peter and Joe are in the basement. Peter is vacuuming the whole entire basement. Joe is helping him by moving things, moving the cord where he needs it moved to. And they've got the music blaring down there. So yeah, it's pretty loud. All right, lots and lots of bubbles forming. That means that that vinegar and baking soda is still working. I'm gonna get this into the oven. It has to bake for 30 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees. A little update on the dryer balls. I mentioned that I bought a package or a bag of dryer balls. It came with six wool dryer balls. This is what they look like. Let me flip a light on here, guys. And the direction said to use two dryer balls in just like an average size dryer, which I guess I would assume I have an average size dryer. Um, after I had read that and I mentioned that in the grocery haul, a bunch of you chimed in in the comments. If, you ha if you're not in the habit of reading comments, you should be because there's always so many good tips from everybody in there. A lot of people said, I just use all six of them. I throw them in the dryer and yes, it definitely cuts down on drying time. And I have been finding that, that first I was just using two I, I wasn't totally sure if it was cutting down on drying time. I kind of felt like it was, but I hadn't actually like done a test. Well, now today, after reading all those comments, I just put in a load. It was like kind of a lighter load. It had some light colors, a few things like this, you know. I guess it was kind of like my whites and lights. Hmm, somebody's trying to call me. All right, looks like Nick is coming over to the fish fry tonight too. Anyway, with this load that I just did, with six dryer balls in there, I hit start and I think in 15 minutes maybe even less and I just had it on medium heat everything was dry so I really think that the six have really I'm I super noticed a difference in that and this is what I've been using so I just use this and I really like this this is the lavender 100% uh, pure essential oil and I just put a whole bunch of drips on a dryer ball and then I throw the dryer ball in there. Someone mentioned something about being careful that the, the oils on here could transfer to your clothing. So far, and I've been using them for a couple of weeks now, I haven't seen any, um, I haven't seen any sign of that. Do with it what you will. At this point, I'd like to make some yummy chocolate frosting. This is on page 58 of cookbook number one. We're putting together a, what is this called? The fish fry here yeah. for Friday night. So this is just salting crackers. Warren dips it in. What are you milk. tonight? You, dip, oh. you wash the fillets, you dip them in milk, then you put them in crushed salt. Mm -hmm. hey. Awesome. Hey. And then I just made up some quick tartar sauce. All I do is this is just some mayo and pickle relish, sweet pickle relish, as well as a whole lot of dill weed. I have to sit here, but I also have to. He's last one out of the craft. Well, 
it is evening now, like actually 20 to 10. Peter is finally working on the dishes. He's almost done. What do you got? Four, three more things to do here. Mm -hmm. So it says dishes day, so he's working on the dishes. Supper was really, really good. We have to thaw more fish next time. It was so good. We all, I think, would have loved to have a little bit more. And we devoured it. We did devour it. The cake, Peter, unfortunately, got a little, got a piece that had a little bit of salt. Yeah, like but if every, so other if you person, just take a piece, and like it, it just has like this weird dark bottom, and that's it's super salty. That was. But salty. I found out if you just like take that and just cut off the bottom, it's. I think that was just your piece because dad had cake, Emily had cake, um, who else had cake? Oh, Colt, Aisley, they had cake. And like there was, and the Joe corner, had cake, and it was like nobody a corner else. Of yeah. just white salt. Yeah, so I just wonder if when I mixed it up, I must not have mixed it uh, well enough, uh, and he got a little salty spot. But everybody else seemed to like the cake a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I had another piece in it. Oh, that your other piece was. All right, so just kind of wanted to give you guys the heads up on that. So if you do make that wacky cake, um, you just want to make sure that you get it mixed. And I used a whisk, and I wonder if I actually would have used a fork. That would have, whoops, sorry, Peter, that could have gotten into the corners a little bit better. Um, but, all right, it's still going to get eaten. Whoa, you're getting excited to be almost done, I see. Uh, so I'm just watching a couple... Moss Family TV videos, and then we are going to, uh, we're going to hit the sack as soon as Peter is finished with this. We're going to get everybody in bed, and that's going to be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If this was your first time, I'd love it if you'd subscribe, and we have all kinds of videos on cooking and just family life. So, you guys, have a good night.